Danganronpa. Hey there guys, this is Basinger313 here with the continuation of the Danganronpa Let's Play. Last time we left off, there was uh, two executions, I believe, and that's all I remember. One of them being a guy and one of them being a girl. Mm. It's been forever since I last played this game, as always, so... Maybe if they have like a recap, then I'll have all the memories flowing by. Nope, we won't, okay. It's night time, chapter two. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I just, I just searched my house. I can't even get out of here. It's night time, so I have no choice but to go to sleep. Dot, dot, dot. Dude. <laughs> oh god, am I, okay, so it's clean. Dot dot dot. Fucking hell. It's gone. Okay, I expected it to be gone. There's no way I'm gonna be sleeping in my goddamn dorm with a dead body in the bathroom. She... she really is gone. Don't worry, there's other fish in the sea. You'll get over it soon. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. Am I gonna imitate his voice? After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Oh, I almost forgot! Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpse. What are you gonna do? It's okay, no need to thank me. Just seeing your deli delighted smile faces, smiling faces is thank enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. Yeah. <laughs> so is dying, but we'll just let that slide, I guess. I didn't even have time to mourn Saika or Junko's death. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. At night time? Really? <laughs> I thought it was like sleeping time. Alright. Sorry I'm late. So, right. um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time! I was about to go and get you and drag you back here! I can't remember this fucking face. Uh, what's her name again? Shit. S sorry hmm. Hmm. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I'm not gonna remember any of these guys' names whatsoever. I, c I barely remember the fucking... Can I... What's the button to, uh... Triangle? Select? Nope. Okay, yeah, I can't check their names. Assuming that their names are even at the database anymore. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? I don't know. I, I can't have, like, a really raspy voice whatsoever. I, uh, I, that's, the, some, that's something I really need to work on is trying to get, like, the edgy guy kind of voice. But um, I feel like I might break my throat by doing that. Um, my room was spotless. There, was not, there wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying here, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Good God, Makoto, grow the fuck up. Plus, I decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto? Um... Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? No, but the possibility of any of you fuckers trying to kill me is not out of the question. So I'm looking. I'm I'm peeling my eyes back up. I, I got my eye on you guys. If we all work together. I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone, just try and cheer up and get back on track. <laughs> uh, oh, his voice again. Is it? Isn't that honestly supposed to make us feel any better? This guy's gonna be pokey, I can tell. Huh? <laughs> we are already working together, yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, if not, the next one takes place. <laughs> Yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Uh, oh. If the storyline would let me kill you, I would so do so. B but if we work together against the mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling that your yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Oh. 
Oh, fuck me. What's your voice again? <laughs> okay, um, what do you mean? I'm gonna have to plug my nose every time I do that. The masterminds seem to be and much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be a well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seemed to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for every for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything we have planned out down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may not be they may not be great of a risk. So then. Then, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. N no. <laughs> okay. What? No what? I, I can't take it. Okay, um, so I guess your voice is gonna be like that introverted girl, except she's not a bitch. Um, I, I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Lion died. So his name's Lion. Got it. Because we all voted for him, right? Well, no, not necessarily. He died because we voted for him and he was guilty. If he was not guilty, then everyone would have died. Then again, we also had two chances because I fucked up. But I guess the game's gonna allow that, so, uh, eh, whatever. You just always- TAKE THAT! TAKE THAT! OBJECTION! OBJECTION! Just over and over and over again until the game tells you, Okay, fine, you get to proceed. It's no different from us killing him or ourselves. But... BUT! <laughs> I'm gonna make my own voices for these guys. If we hadn't vote for him, then we all would've died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you leap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not. Excuse me. I was about to burp for a second. Not you. Not Lion. And not Sayaka. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to mispronounce all of these names as much as possible. The Meester Mind <laughs> is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what it would have happened if, to us if we refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. Uh, I'm sorry, Lion. Leon, if that's his fancy term. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Ding dong, bing bong. I can never recognize those church bells. Hmm. <clears throat> As such, uh, yeah, yeah. the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, it was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now, pay so something different for once. Well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear, so be well aware of your actions. Or yeah, because the game so far has stated sacrifice and that my actions may have everyone. consequences, who I might talk to and who I socialize might have an impact on the game's story, but from the comments I've seen so far, it's completely linear, so I feel like that would have been a huge missed opportunity. That, oh, th it's possible that this guy would die first instead of this other person or something like that, and... Yeah, like, that that would have been a huge opportunity if they were to go to that, like, branching pathway or something. I really wish that they were, were to take that path because... Okay. Yeah, that would be really interesting, and it could add into, like, replay value as well. Like, oh, see, what happens if I actually talk about this guy, and maybe because I talked to that person, he or she might have either died or prolonged their death or something like that. Uh... Yeah. Then again, this is NIS we're talking about. They don't give a shit about anything. Ooh, what was that about? Just now? What the fuck was I talking about? Why did I give her that voice all of a sudden? Mm. I... Sure! Was he saying it's our fault of what happened? That's pretty cruel, man! Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit! Who does he think he is? Ellipses. 
Oh, yeah, it's Tuesday. So in case you do hear like a kind of bell, it's 12 o'clock right now by that time we're recording. Is it still the time here? Yeah, 12 o'clock, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the death of three classmates, Saika, Junko, and Lion. But this is just the beginning. Despair has only just begun. We'll be right back after the next episode of... I was about to say Honey Pop for a second. We'll be right back for the next episode of... Uh, ah, Dragon... Drag... Daniel Robot. There we go. Stay tuned for that.